Hey Wellness Crew, and welcome to 10 Minute Yoga. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start in puppy dog position. So we're gonna have our knees right underneath our hips. We're gonna go ahead and bring our arms forward. We're gonna have our, uh, the palms of our hands planted on the mat. And you can have either your forehead or you can have your chin on the mat, whichever you prefer. And in this position, what we're doing is we're stretching out our chest and our shoulders. You might even feel a little bit in your biceps. If you have your chin on the mat, you're getting a little bit of your throat and your neck. We're going to go ahead and walk our hands in. We're going to do some cat cow. So we're going to go ahead and lift our head up and our butt up towards the sky. And then as we exhale, we're going to go ahead and lower our crown towards the mat and arch our back. All right, from here, we're going to briefly come into tabletop. We're going to take our right arm. We're going to go ahead and slide it through underneath the left arm, bringing that left palm closer to our bodies for a nice stretch in our shoulder, as well as a little bit of a spinal twist. And you go ahead and switch sides. So putting that left arm through, bringing that right palm a little bit closer to your body. Remember how important breathing is throughout this entire process. All right, I'm going to go ahead and come back into tabletop. We're going to bring that right leg forward so we can come into a low lunge. You can have your hands placed, you know, slightly above your knee. You can have your hands out. You can even have your hands up above your head, whatever you prefer. We're going to go ahead and switch sides. So bringing the palms down to the mat, bringing that right foot back, bringing that left foot forward, coming into low lunge on our left leg. Bringing our palms down to the mat, bringing that left leg back, we're going to go ahead, bring that right leg forward again, for low lunge on the right leg. And 
again, bringing our hands down to the mat, bringing that right leg back, bring that left foot forward for low lunge on the left side. Bringing our hands back down to the mat. We're going to actually go ahead and come into a supine position. Well, not quite yet, actually. We're going to go ahead and do a flow of reverse tabletop. So our fingers are facing our heels. Our knees are bent. And what we're going to do is lift up and come back down. Lift up. Come back down, up, come back down, up, come back down, up, come back down, last one, up, we're going to hold it, and come back down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get onto our backs. We're gonna go ahead and leave our knees bent, and this is why. We're gonna go ahead and raise our hips up off the mat, and our backs as well, or the majority of, of our back. From here, I want you to make sure that your heels are underneath your knees. What we're going to do is come onto our toes, bring our heels back down to the mat, and then we're gonna go ahead and lower our body. So lifting our body up, coming onto our toes, back onto our heels, and lowering our body. Up, toes, heels, down. Up, toes, heels, down, up, toes, heels, down, up, toes, heels, down, up, toes, heels, down. We got two more, up, toes, Heels down, last one, up, toes, we're going to stay on our toes for just a second, coming down to our heels, and down. We're going to go ahead and hug our knees into our chest, taking a few nice deep breaths in this position. We're going to go ahead and bring our arms out to our sides. We're going to bring our uh, knees nice and bent in a 90 degree position. We're going to lower our knees towards our left side. Your knees do not have to go all the way to the mat. I want you to ensure that your shoulders are in contact with the mat at all times, both of your shoulders, no matter what side we're going to. Coming back to the middle, coming to our right, and coming back to the middle. So you might experience some pops. Back to the middle, to the right. Back to the middle, to the left. Back to the middle, to the right. And back to the middle. Okay, so from here, we're actually going to do a shoulder stand. Um, sometimes this is known as candlestick. It just depends on what um, different type, types of exercise you've performed in the past. So coming up onto our shoulders, we're gonna go ahead, we're having our legs as straight up as we can. Our elbows are part of our anchoring as well as our uh, triceps. 
From here, we're gonna go ahead and open up our legs nice and slow and close them. Trying to get it to where it's just our shoulders on the mat, opening our legs, closing them, opening our legs, and closing them. And if this is too intense for you, you can do this with your back on the mat and just have your legs up from a supine position. Open, close, let's do one more. Open and close. Slowly coming down, bending our knees, opening our arms up. We're gonna do a bit of a marching while we're lying down, we're just going to lift up one leg at a time. While we're getting a stretch in our arms, if you would like, you can also turn your palms up because we are not doing anything that requires you to anchor. From here, we're gonna go ahead, straighten out the legs, Lift up, now the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left, the right. The left, last two, the right, the left, the right, and the left. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead and sit up. We're going to get into plank real quick. We're going to go ahead and come into hovering. So remember, only the palms of your hands, your toes, and the balls of your feet are in contact with the mat. No other part of your body is in contact with the mat. And we're going to come up into upward dog. Trying to keep our shoulders nice and down away from our ears. And for our final position, we're going to go ahead and spread our knees open. And we're going to come back into child's pose. So having our butt on our heels, having our arms extended, or if you prefer, as we did in, um, I believe it was yesterday's video, you can have your um, arms back. It just requires that you close your knees a little bit. All right, and that is it for today's 10-minute yoga. Thank you so much for joining me today. I always appreciate that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and or follow for more content just like this. And I will see you on the next video. Be well, stay wild. <laughs>